My BFI player choice this week is the arresting feature debut from Peter Mackie Burns, an energetically anxious tale of a young woman on the edge, boasting a barnstorming breakthrough performance from the mesmerizing Emily Beecham. What's your bloody name then? It's David. Hmm. Doesn't suit you. Well, pleased to meet you, David, for the first time. Yeah, for the first time, definitely. Pleased to meet you too, Daphne. Oh! No need to show off with your freaking handshake. <laughs> So listen, um, I was... Are you about to ask me for my number? I mean, that's very forward of you to offer it, but sure, if you want to give me your number then... I rather you didn't, actually, sorry. Can I have right, no, if it is. Um, 50 grams of pecorino. I mean, you seem like a nice guy. No, 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 no explanation needed. Anyway, um, nice to meet you again, Daphne. I mean, for the first time. Um, see you soon. Yeah. Written by Nika Mensinger, Daphne centers on a young woman riddled with firecracker angst who seems to have drifted into her early 30s without any clear direction about where her life is going to the exasperation of her mother, played by Geraldine James. At work, Daphne grafts away in a kitchen. At play, she parties hard, her ever more frenetic actions shot through with a hint of self-destructiveness. Perhaps she's spiraling out of control, or maybe she's just terminally removed from a world that cannot keep up with her. That lurking sense of isolation comes to a head when a random act of violence leaves Daphne apparently unable to feel empathy, or indeed anything, a worrying circumstance that causes her to question her life choices. Is Daphne suffering from some sort of sociopathic disorder, or is she simply out of sync with the rest of the world, dancing to the beat of her own drum? There are a few moments in the film when the camera isn't on Emily Beecham, and she's an electrifying presence, at once magnetic and maddening. Having played small roles in such diverse fair as 28 weeks later and the Coen brothers hail Caesar, Beecham commands the centre stage as Daphne. You really can't look away, even as a contradiction-filled character both attracts and repels the audience, a fully rounded figure, the likes of which one rarely sees on screen. From here, Beecham will go on to win the Cannes Best Actress Prize for Little Joe and to draw rapturous applause for the true-life drama Sulphur and White, but it's Daphne that first showed what she could do.